hello and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and welcome to today's video today we are speaking to candidate attorneys or actually new graduates and uh let's speak about networking how do you actually deal with networking now that you've just started working or about to start working or are looking for a job why is this important and how should you go about doing it let's go things first that you need to understand as a young professional that you are coming into as now either a graduate seeking employment or a graduate who's just starting their business whatever the case might be you need to know people that are already in the business or people that are close to the business of going around it you need to know people people here are some of the things that you need to be careful of or be mindful of when you are networking and actually getting yourself into your desired things first you are not your profession your whole character could actually be influenced by what you read and whatnot but you as a person are not just a lawyer you are not just a doctor you are not just a whatever because the moment that you define yourself as that only you are limiting yourself and you are also inviting things like exist existential crisis in your life if um it happens that maybe you don't get the job as soon as possible or you get the job but it's not paying you enough so you do not look like the stereotypical doctor or or an attorney or even if you do get the en enough money but because you have many responsibilities that you need to deal with you can't be or seem like the stereotypical one you are then going to put a pressure on yourself you are going to feel immense amount of pressure from not just your family but from people even outside your family everywhere else because you want to keep up with this uh i am this profession so right now right here i want you to know that you are not your career because that's going to limit you in taking a job that's maybe working in a retail store while you're searching for the job that you want that's going to limit you from taking a job in a call center because you are so in tune with the fact that this is me this is the profession this is what i want so don't be that the world is going to define go to when you're supposed to be a lawyer don't be the first you are supposed to be this you're supposed don't be the first person to believe that you are going to limit yourself so much that you are going to limit yourself to just this one thing that's number one two be kind to everyone that you meet you could actually be meeting somebody who's going to hire you and because you are not kind you happen to not be nice to people around you i know this i was actually um while i was still a ca there was a lady that came in to drop her cv you know how cas uh do walk in um uh, drop off of, uh, of cvs for articles especially in small firm small firms this one drops her at uh, her cv she doesn't greet um my principal because in her head she didn't know who she is and you get uh while while at reception she had a big head face and then didn't greet principal and she while she was walking out because didn't know who she was and then she came back in i don't know what she was going to do outside the vase and then she came came back in and then the secretary tells her oh by the way this is uh the principal that you are actually sending an update she was so embarrassed that she didn't greet that that person and because she was not nice because she had this she was not kind to everyone that's there be kind it takes nothing away from you be kind to people that you meet believe me you because you will not know if that person is going to hire you is somebody who is supposed to be hiring you and if that person was kind because very shortly after that they had to look for a ca because i was leaving 
if Kuguti, that person was kind when she came in to drop her CV, she was probably going to be the first person that they considered. But she was not kind. We were all just shocked of her attitude and we were like, I don't think you will ever work well with this person because first impressions matter. The moment you walk into a building, if you are going for an interview, okay, I'm going off track right now. If you are going in for an interview, if you are going in to drop off your CV, be kind to everyone, the security, the cleaner, the, the secretary, because those are the people that might actually influence you getting hired because they could ask more now, but how was this person out here when they're trying to make the decision? Oh, gosh. So be kind. Number three, be in all groups and forums that are within your career. So if you are a lawyer, go on groups like lawyers, rule, uh, legal practitioners, South Africa, it's all on Facebook. Even if, it, if it's on WhatsApp, there's a forum of lawyers around your area. Be in that group. Reason being, especially for CAs, reason being rules change a lot in law. Judgments get passed every day. And if you're not aware of a certain judgment that got passed today and you're going to do a matter on Friday and you're preparing your heads of arguments and you get there, you totally, you totally prepare a matter that is now overruled by the certain judgment and your opponent knows the judgment and Bafigiba presented the case and your matter gets dismissed because you were not aware, you were not networking with the right people, you were not involving yourself with the right people. So whatever you do, involve your, yourself with the right kind of people. Be in forums, you are there to get information. If there's somebody who needs help and you know the thing, help them as well that's what you are there to do so that's what you need to do all right and then number four in the area that you are in area that your firm is placed your jurisdiction every candidate attorney must know your face must know your name or at least your principal's name they have to know you especially candidate attorneys or junior attorneys they need to know you because if you are in court, your matter, you are in a court role, maybe you didn't see the role, you are number three on the role and you get called and it turns out you didn't know that um, nobody knew who you were. Nobody's going to call you or call your principal, or they could stand in for you if something happened to you that morning and they are aware of it. But if they don't know you, no one is going to assist you. How do I go and stand for certain candidate attorney in Gaya's booth? Why is, is she not here? And if you stand in front and I know nothing. So make sure that everyone knows you. If there's one thing that you need to know, you need to make sure that everyone knows you or at least your principal so that they can stand for you, stand in for you. They can do any people will actually assist you. One thing about this profession, yes, there's a lot of Ngisinya with Junior, but there's also a lot of, we are friends, learned friends, we are colleagues, and we make use of that. If you don't make use of that as, as soon as you're getting into the profession, people will not want to assist you because we are zero and would say, you don't like anybody and you don't assist anybody. So make sure that your peers, people around your age group in terms of career know you well so that they can assist you and you can assist them as well and if you need something if google is calling the phone principal or in a certain office and you know the ca before even approaching the the principal you start with the ca ask them how is this matter going maybe now the matter is being dealt with by the ca and you'll get to actually deal with it in order before you'll take it to your principal so yeah, well, it's easy it's 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 a very good thing to good tool to have Uber known and knowing your peers number five in knowing all of your peers and all of that also learn how to differentiate between your friends your colleagues and an enemy that you need to pray for one they are learned friends so they are colleagues so you need to understand that you need to understand what you love my colleagues so i can't go around delving my personal I think he's I can't go around uh, speaking about how toxic my work environment is. I can't go around doing this and that and that because this could end up with my principal. This could end up somewhere. 
So know who you are dealing with and deal with them in that sense. If you don't know that, you are going to get burnt. So whatever you do, don't get burnt. Number five, number six, um, lawyers are not your clients. <laughs> lawyers are not your clients. So your networking should not only be with people around your profession. Your networking should not only be with Excuse me. And networking should not only be with uh, accountants if you are in the finance or accounting department. Your networking should not be only with uh, the doctors if you're. Those are not your clients. Like, especially in the same jurisdiction, those people are after the same clients as you are, unless you're like, doing different things. But those people are after the same thing. Yes, it's good that if you're like, doing the same thing, maybe I don't do criminal and I know a person that does criminal law, I give them contacts of them and they know me as doing civil. So, Ganjalo, but that's not the case. Most of the time, people, are in, especially in small towns, are general practitioners. They do everything. So, everyone approaches them. So, know that your, 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 your friends, your colleagues, are not the only people that you should network with. If you are a gym, network with people that are nurses, network with people that are uh, employed somewhere because those people could need help with, the, with, with certain matters and you are there and you are the lawyer and you networking with them, you are growing your clientele outside of Umsebe Nduako. See? Yes. Be approachable. That's the final one. Be approachable. If you are not approachable, if you are known as the stone cold person, I'm not going to tell you, Guti, this is what you should not do and this is what you should do, should be done. I'm not going to tell you, Guti, uh, this is what this, mail, this magistrate wants in their court or doesn't want in their court because we're now kind, so why should I bother with assisting you? So whatever you do, be kind, be approachable, be... Do not be this person that's in their head in competition with everyone that's maybe in the courtroom, maybe that's in a in a hospital, whatever profession you are in. Don't be this person that you can't approach because yeah, not in her head, we are all in competition. So and we're not even gonna assist her and tell her good thing. No, today court is finishing at eleven, so be there early so that your matter is heard. Not gonna tell you good today and this is what the directives are because when you're not approachable just bonel people could leave you humble wherever because when a verse why should we bother you when a verse will turn to body ratio so yeah anyways i hope that you guys get to navigate this new career that you are entering and it becomes better for you and um take it each day at a time some days are better than others and some days you want to actually continue being whatever that you are pursuing. Some days you're just like, oh my God, why did I put myself into this? Get to know yourself. Get to understand what it is that you want to do. You'll even learn what it is that you want to do by actually speaking to maybe seniors who have been in the game for some time and you ask them, well, okay, this is what you're specializing in. How did you get into this? Na, 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 na. But if you are not approachable, if you are not nice, if you are not kind, no one will assist you. No one will assist you. Like we, as, as, as I'm speaking especially to candidate attorneys. There are so many rules. I can't know this whole book. This is actually the Supreme and Magistrate Court's rules. There's another one rule, with rules of... Uh, Rules, rules of ama CCMA na na. I cannot know that by the head. Angwaz was local everywhere that I go, but I could get there. And there's somebody who just did the matter before me. Angel, what are the rules? So I don't go there and start her and stand matters down because I was I mean Angel approachable and no one is willing to help me. I don't speak about what I'm there to do at court. If you're there to and you don't if and you don't speak to anyone about what you're there to do. You might actually not even speak to your opponent. You'll now have to stand a matter down, go to the end of the road where you could have spoken to each other before court started. But because we're not, 
you this when you get to court you're not gonna know that so i hope you guys actually navigate life uh especially in your first year in the career and yeah all the best and yeah okay i'm done don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this video and remember none of my videos are legal advice i didn't give any legal advice or any like professional advice it's just information that i've gathered throughout the years okay all right all right bye guys